Early this morning, your Friday is off to a dangerously cold start. We are still under that winter storm warning, despite no longer seeing active snowfall. Blowing snow with those strong winds will create whiteout conditions and those drifts on the roadways, making it difficult to travel, plus those dangerously cold temperatures. Our entire area will stay under this warning until tomorrow morning. Still got a full day with this warning ahead, as we will still see the threats all day long. Right now, definitely seeing the windy conditions. Up to about 44 miles an hour for the gusts in Rockford, 36 closer to Rochelle, also close to 40 down in Sterling. So definitely going to see windy conditions all day long, even early into your Saturday. In terms of the roadways, most of them are mostly covered. So going to see a couple highways. Looks like I-20 and even 39 is mostly um, clear. But as you head out the door, definitely give yourself extra time. Carroll County looking like your roads are are covered right now. So mostly going to see that concern when it comes to the drifting along with those very cold temperatures. Right now, a lot of us below zero, about 10 below over in Mount Morris, nine below in Rockford and 12 below in places like Poplar Grove. Feels like temperature much lower than that. You can think that with those stronger winds. But feeling like we're 38 degrees below zero in Mount Morris, about 37 in Poplar Grove, and feeling like we're about 34 below over in Freeport. We will continue to see these wind chills below zero all weekend long. Blowing snow will be a concern for today, creating those drifts, especially on those open roads. Blowing snow will also follow us into tomorrow as those winds continue to gust between 40 to 45 miles an hour through Saturday morning. Morning slowly weakening, but you'll notice we stay very cold through this entire holiday weekend. Later today, a lot of us will stay within the negatives. We really struggle to break into those lower single digits. Blowing snow will lead to those drifts on the roadways, so take your time if you have to travel today and definitely bundle up. We're talking layers today. Those wind chills will be dangerously cold. That's when frostbite can happen within just minutes. We'll still fall below zero overnight. May see some flurries develop following us early into your Saturday. Otherwise, we'll stay dry, just very cold into your Christmas Eve. And by the time we head into Christmas Day, we'll be back into the teens. That is a little bit of improvement, but your wind chills again still staying below zero through the entire weekend. Then as we head into next week, we may see a little bit of snowfall Sunday night early into Monday after that sunshine returns. It'll be back by Tuesday as temperatures continue to climb. We'll be in the upper 40s next Thursday in your most active accurate 10 day forecast after dropping very low and cold into today we will end up bouncing back rather quickly into the next weekend as we even end up seeing some active weather moving through in time for that New Year's Eve weekend.